County Grand Jury says there is enough evidence to charge a 23-year-old man from Syracuse with the murder of an 11-month-old baby in, in the city. But the indictment seems to indicate police still have some unanswered key questions in their investigation. News Channel Lines' Andrew Donovan has been looking through the court documents and he joins us live outside the Justice Center tonight. Andrew, what have you learned that police may be looking for still? Well, Jeff, the indictment charges 23-year-old Chavez Acasio with murder and attempted murder, not surprisingly, but also a charge of facilitation, which indicates he may have been working with someone else during the alleged crime, but nobody else has been arrested at this point in time. We know that detectives continue to work the case in conjunction with the Onondaga County District Attorney's Office. The only evidence police have shared publicly is that Acasio owned the car from where the gunshots originated. They haven't said if someone else was with him or who they think actually pulled the trigger, fired the weapon. That gun, ended up firing multiple bullets into a car with two mothers and their three young children in the back seat on Grant Avenue in April, just behind Bellevue Elementary School. The baby died. Her mom, adult cousin, and child cousins were not hurt, but were in danger. Therefore, Acasio is charged with attempted murder. Acasio, who recently saw the birth of his own child, is at the Justice Center waiting for an arraignment on these upgraded charges, so he will be scheduled to be in court again soon. Live in downtown Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. Andrew, thank you very much, and we continue to follow this for you on News Channel 9 and localsyr.com. Well,